Welcome back, folks. We're going to set up airports today, and I think I will let the speed go, or the game go, the date speed, but set it to half, because we're already in 1938 and we're nowhere near done with the game. So today, we are going to be setting up airports in Lisbon, London, Prague, and either Copenhagen or Stockholm, I think, if we have time to do all of them. It's something that we will have to <laughs> redo eventually, uh, because we'll get the big airports. But for now, we will do it like this with the small ones. I really wish we had the big ones. Alright, let's get the airport in here. And we're going to place it like that. Alright, that's one. It's going to cost a bit. And then we have up here in London. And... We'll, I think we'll do the road first. Let's pull this road back a little bit. And we'll kind of... Come up like this. I think. Let's get this airport in here. Uh, it won't really do completely straight, but I suppose this is fine. Let's just smooth that out a bit, if we can. All right. So that's two of them. Then we'll get, I think Prague or Berlin. I think Prague. And we'll put Prague up here. And we will Turn it around. I think something like that will be fine. Okay. And then let's start with those three and see how it goes. Uh, I want the road running by. And then it can come in here. And it can come in here. And we'll obviously uh, upgrade this. Something like that. Alright. I think that's kind of fine. Okay. So, our bus lines. We kind of need to come out this way, and I think, I think we might use this. So bus, bus, none, 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 and we'll put it in here. Yeah.
Well, that's straight. And straight. Okay. <clears throat> Great to have a bus lane here. <clears throat> All right, and for London, I think we'll try. in here. I'd really like to use this. So let's take this road out again for a bit. And let's use this um, two terminals uh, city new street lanes two Two is fine. Uh, no tram tracks. Uh, let's do 1920 platform texture and station asphalt. Let's put this in right here. Okay. And then the road can come out there, and it can come out there. And then I kind of want it to continue over here. As this kind of thing. And we'll upgrade this road to this kind of thing as well. Collision. All right, that's, uh, this is fine. Okay. And... And there's Lisbon. Sawatusha. Okay. Does that mean angry butt? Tush is butt, I think, in German. And sour is angry, I think. <laughs> if it does, uh, I don't think it's a nice bus to be on. Um, I think down here, what we'll simply have is this kind of thing across from, because it won't fit in here, will it? Well, maybe it will. What if we make it 20 meters, will it still fit in? No. So 10 meters will fit in. You know what? Let's do that. Okay. And then we need to rename the airports. Uh, so Lisbon Airport here is not going to be Lisbon Airport, even though it is. It's going to be Humberto Delgado Airport. Because that is the name of the airport in Lisbon. I suppose this is more in a, in a Stansted area than a Heathrow area, but we will call it London Heathrow, I think. And then we have Prague. 
Where is it? There. And Prague Airport will be Vaclav Havel Airport. Uh, so... It's Va... I do believe it's done like this. Vaclav Havel Airport. It's actually called Vaclav Havel Airport Prague. I guess we'll call it that. Okay. Now, we need our bus lines. Uh, so, let's see. Let's start with Prague because we're here. So, Prague Circle. Uh, actually, only goes two places. So, after Manor Road, we'll add a station in here. And then I kind of think we can add a station in here and be happy about it. Or we'll stop. Uh, so, and that actually means that after Manor Road, we do the Crescent, then Prague South. Then after Prague South, we do the Crescent again, and then Prague Annex. And the bus stop here, we will call Prague Airport Bus Station. Or actually, we will call it uh, uh, Baklav Havel Bus Station. Okay. So that's fine then in london oh, that's denmark so london is over here we will do oh and this is where i want to be so london circle after windsor road no after mill lane We'll go out here and then come back. Yeah. And that's fine. And then London Circle 1 after South Street. We'll come out there and that'll be fine as well. And let's call this uh, a Heathrow bus terminal. There. And then down here in Lisbon. Um, we'll call it uh, Umberto Delgado uh, Bus Terminal. And in Lisbon, we just have one, and it's yellow, so it's going. North Road, the Crescent, South Street, London Road. So after London Road, you go there, and then you come back, go down to the north to North Road, and around. Okay. Maybe I should do a second circle here. I mean, nah, we are covering everything, so I think it's fine. I think it's fine. All right, then we need to make some new lines. From Humberto Delgado to uh, London. 
and this we will call this um, LHR because those are the IATSA names, uh, International Air Transport Association, uh, the governing body for uh, airlines. So they are the ones who give uh, airports and airlines their uh, two and three letter codes. Uh, so, well, uh, airports don't have two letter codes, airlines do. But uh, uh, so LIS uh, LHR, then we'll do another new line. Drawing from there to there. And this will be uh, let's you know what BA three zero seven L H R D R G London Heathrow to Prague. And that will be that. And then the other one will be, sorry, there was someone at the door. This will be <clears throat> a TP582 uh, Lis, uh, so it's top Portugal. Uh, their two letter code is TP. Then we have a BA, which is British Airways from uh, London to Prague and then we'll have a route from Prague to Lisbon as well and for that route we'll go there to there and we will call it Okay, uh, 299 from uh, Prague to Lis. Okay is uh, Czech Airlines, uh, two letter code. So there we go. And then we just need to buy some planes. I think we'll just put two planes on each route for now. So buy vehicles. And we're going to go with the Douglas. Yeah, we're going to go with the DC-3. Uh, we'll buy two here. And one of them... Well, actually, we need to buy three, don't we? Uh, so... Buy... So you... One of them is red. And you go on BA307. And then... And this one, whoops... Is... I think it's that color. Go on OK299 to Lisbon. And then you are, I think it's that color. Go on TP582 from Lisbon to Lahore. Uh, Lahore, <laughs> London Heathrow. All right. So we have one on each. Then up here, we want to buy vehicles. Oh, we'll, I guess we'll get So, oh, I never mind. Uh, I put all three. So we want London Heathrow down here or, or up here. So, uh, so that's a red one. 
uh, go on that and then we can put another one on this one and this will actually give us two on each and then this one is that color I think it was in Prague to Lisbon all right so our first planes fantastic And then we could do an airport up here in Stockholm as well, I think. Or in Copenhagen. Uh, Copenhagen is just much closer to everything. So I think Copenhagen is probably a better place. But there isn't really room for an airport on... Uh, Schillant here, where Copenhagen is, so we would have to put it over in Malmö in southern Sweden, which in this case it would be Malmö Airport instead. But I suppose that's okay, though. Copenhagen is the biggest airport in Scandinavia. But I think this is... Okay, and we... We have a passenger standing here don't suppose we have any passengers on any of our planes yet, do we? Uh, that would be extraordinary. No. Not yet. I wonder where this passenger is coming from. Is this from this house or something? Going over there to take the bus into the train station or something. I don't know. So this is uh, Lisbon, London. This is London to Prague. All right. We have planes, guys. Our very first planes. Let's take a look at one of them. It is a pretty plane, the DC-3. And look at all those ships in the background. I love it. Very cool. Yeah, that's a nice plane. That is a very nice plane. And it only just made it up to cruising altitude before it's time to go down again. I wonder, can we add airports to this? Or runways to this already? No. All right. Okay, but we have our first. Oh, we have a passenger. We have a passenger waiting. Two passengers wanting to go to Lisbon, two wanting to go to Prague. Fantastic. All right. Oh, three wanting to go to Prague, three wanting to go to Lisbon, it looks like. Yay! We have passengers. That makes me very happy. That makes me very, very happy indeed. Do we have passengers down here? Did you pick up any? Yeah, you picked up four passengers. Uh, for London. Nice. Is anyone walking here? Yeah. Wow, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven passengers coming in. Five going to London. I only see four though. Where's the fifth? Oh, he's over there. And then we have two going to Prague. 
Noise. We have passengers for our airlines. Not up here, though. But I'm guessing that we will have. Right, that makes me really, really happy. That makes me really, really happy. And we want, I think, one down here in either in Rome or in Naples as well. An airport. It's not going to be easy to fit an airport in down here. But we'll do our damnedest to do it. And then one in, uh, I think, in Istanbul. Yeah. Cool. Uh, let's take a look at uh, our towns down here and see if our uh, connections... Yeah, look at that. 4,982 before it was like 400. So getting all this fixed has really helped. 5,577. Beautiful. That's very, very good. And we have passengers here, 150 wanting to go to Madrid, just one to Lisbon, but we did just have a train here, which has 42 people on board, we have 25 waiting. What about in uh, Barcelona here? The UK EU Express is insane. Need to get some more trains on that, but I think uh, once we redo Paris, as we've been talking about doing for a while now, uh, the UK EU Express is probably going to end in Paris because we're going to change the lines up a bit uh, so that it's a bit more, um, so it's a bit shorter there, so it doesn't go all the way from Glasgow down to uh, Barcelona, because I feel like that's a bit too long, maybe. Look at Paris. It's actually a pretty big town. I like it. How big is it? 549. Brussels and Amsterdam are pretty big. 661. 883. Let's turn off all the icons here. Look at London. That is a big town. I, I actually want uh, town signs on so that we can click them and see 913. Liverpool and Manchester is growing nicely. 551. Glasgow, 430. 328. Yeah. The towns are growing. Lyon is pretty big too. 395 it's actually not that big 243 239 what about over in uh hamburg and berlin berlin is pretty big 770 hamburg 528 so yeah i wonder how much food is Hamburg getting? It's actually getting a pretty decent amount. Hey! In Berlin, you're getting some goods, but not all the goods. And certainly not all the fuel either. We might need to stop the fuel deliveries to Berlin and get it from somewhere else. I mean, we basically exhausted our three, uh, our, our three North Sea, um, oil rigs. So we do have a Glasgow Aberdeen oil, so we could get oil from there, but where do we have a refinery that we could use? Uh, 
So we're already using that pretty much. Ah, not quite to capacity, but we're using it quite a lot. Uh, has this route started getting? No, it hasn't. Getting a tiny bit of coal, but it's not a lot. We have a capacity of 36 only. I think we can get that up. Let's see, replace. We don't really need to be that fast. The A35 is fine, I think. Uh, and then cargo. We want the gondolas. So we can get it up to 48 capacity. Uh, let, let me just check that. Um, yeah, so the shortest is 80, and that's what we're using. So we can definitely get the capacity up quite a bit. Uh, replace. Steam. A35. Cargo. A gondola and we can get this up to 79 meters and a capacity of 48 let's do it that'll help eighteen thousands uh iron ore stored I don't think I've ever seen that much stored before. Um, I mean, not right, let's. Sell half of these. And then we will replace the other half with the Opal Blitz dump trucks. And see if we start getting some coal in here. I don't understand why we're not getting coal, because the Steelworks obviously wants more coal. I mean, obviously. Uh, maybe we don't have... So we have a little bit sitting here, but it's not a lot. So it's not producing enough that these are full all the time. And this route has... A rate of 473 and you're only producing like 340 so why is that is it because i mean we have tons of plastic it's definitely steel that we need uh, what's your rate 550 so your rate is fine uh, why do you have food on board Oh, because it's coming back. It's not this vehicle, it's the line. <sighs> so I don't understand why we're not producing more. Because this guy should be picking up the slack that the trains can't handle. 
If anyone has an idea why it's not doing that, let me know. I'm considering putting in trucks from here. to go up there. Wow, you have no passengers? Oh yeah, yeah I do. So I'm kind of hoping that putting in the airport here and having the bus stop going this way that we'll get more passengers from Glasgow and Liverpool going to uh, to London we also need to put in our headquarters we haven't done that yet I don't know where to put it though I do not know where we should put that and this is filled in nicely I tore everything out so it's filled in nicely there with uh, with buildings I am happy about that Yeah, we are actually making money here, I think. We are actually making money. So, yeah, uh, I think next time we'll probably put in either a Stockholm, Ireland, or a Malmö airport. And that'll be it for airports for now, because we need uh, train lines down here in Italy and... Uh, uh, down to Turkey and stuff like that before I really want to put in um, airlines. Uh, let's see. Uh, I just want to see passengers. We have two waiting here down in Humberto Delgado. We have four and seven waiting here. Not bad. And in Prague, we actually have three and five. So yeah, the airlines might actually start making money. Yeah, look at that. Uh, Lisbon to London, 463,000. So yeah, I think we'll start making money on all three airlines. Not a ton, but some. Some, and we'll see if we need to add more planes to him as as we move along but anyway uh thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time